Pete Holmes Show. Welcome back, everybody. So as a stand-up myself, it is always a real thrill for me to be able to introduce you to some of my favorite comedians. And our next guest is absolutely hilarious. Please welcome my friend, Beth Stelling, everybody. Beth! to be here. I've been traveling around the country telling jokes, drinking white wine. Uh, so I have no idea how many kids I have out there. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> and I don't keep an address for that reason, so <laughs> they'll never find me. Uh, I'm originally from Ohio. Uh, a lot of people in Ohio don't realize that you can put all of your things into a bag and then leave. <laughs> Just scoot right on out of town. Um, one of my first jobs was at a bagel shop. Uh, so as you can imagine, a lot of times I was serving bagels uh, straight to my face. <laughs> I gained a little weight, yeah. I took the job, uh, why we all take jobs in food service, uh, for the sexual harassment. So, yeah. That worked out great. I think it was around Christmas time that my boss, uh, my boyfriend, my boss, um, he announced that we were having a weight loss challenge, uh, which sounds illegal. Um, so I quit. I usually tend to date potheads. It's kind of like my thing. I don't, I don't know why. You know, I guess, I guess they can't leave if they're already gone. Um, <laughs> that's probably it. I am currently in a long distance relationship. So as you can imagine, I am just constantly uh, looking for a new relationship. <laughs> Not really. I do fantasize a lot about strangers. So that's just. <laughs> I got it. Thank you. Locked in. I love my boyfriend. I do. Don't get me wrong. I love my boyfriend so much that I went out and I got his name tattooed on my back. <laughs> and I know a lot of you guys are thinking, whoops a daisy. <laughs> and. Um, I've seen Benjamin Button, okay? I know things end. Uh, but a friend of mine, <laughs> a friend of mine was like, Beth, this is truly the worst mistake of your life. What if you date somebody else? And I said, point taken, you know, if I am dating somebody else uh, from behind and, uh, and they see that tattoo, you know, I can just look back and be like, hey, this is the kind of commitment you can expect from me. <laughs> I feel like that'll do it, you know. It's not bubble letters and hearts and things like that. It's just his signature, so. It's really more of like a lease, you know, is how I, how I like to look at it. Uh, my mom is very uncomfortable with anything sexual, okay? I think it's because she's a virgin. Um, now, my mom and I, we go way back, so. Um, <laughs> I have always loved playing little pranks on her. And when I was younger, she would pick me up from school in her Mercury Sable, her Sable Tooth Tiger. And I would get in the front seat and I would just be like scoping out the neighborhood for stragglers, you know, so I could lean out the window and just go, hey, do you need a ride? <laughs> and then just get down real low, you know, in the car. So it just looked like my sweet mom driving the car going, no, no, it was her. It was her. Which to that kid just looks like, don't listen to what they told you in school. Get in my car. <laughs> and despite my antics, my mom would reward, like she'd reward me with sweets, which haunts her to this day because my teeth are rotting out of my head. Uh, she had to buy me a tooth for Christmas, so. <laughs> It was actually a crown. I'm a queen. And we used to go to 
Dairy Queen all the time together. Are you guys familiar with DQ? <laughs> Hot Eats School Treats. And so I order uh, a Reese's Cup Blizzard. And um, <laughs> before they hand you your Blizzard, they like to, uh, they just like to turn it upside down before they give it to you. You know, as if to be like, what you're about to eat is completely unnatural. <laughs> For you. Yeah. Uh, see how it sticks to the cup? <laughs> it's gonna stick to your butt. That's for you. <laughs> we told you. And even though my mom is uncomfortable with sexual things, she makes like quite a bit of it inadvertent sexual innuendo. Uh, so then my mom, this day, she goes to order and she leans towards the speaker and she goes, Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I will take a uh, penis brittle per. <laughs> And then I said, she may need a penis whether it's brittle or not. Okay. <laughs> we'll take that. We'll take it. And best selling. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. That was fantastic. Yay. Thank you. Best selling, everybody. We'll be back with more with that. That was great.